I'm so not that cool. Welcome to adulting. I'm going to be talking about the best ways for anyone to pay off their student loans. So if you're watching this and wondering why I'm not talking about a specific method that you know about, go ahead and mention it in comments, but it might be because it's not something that everyone can do. Like once I read an article that suggested I sell my eggs to pay off my student loans, Thanks, no thanks. Tip one, set up auto payments. This can sometimes drop your loan interest rate. It dropped mine 0.25%, which might not seem like a lot, but over the life of the loan, well, let's put it this way. If you have $29,400 in a loan, which is pretty average for student debt, and you get the current loan rate of 4.29%, that saves you like $500 over the life of the loan. Tip two, make weekly payments. This is the tip that most people aren't taking advantage of. Interest accrues continually. So when you're making payments monthly, the interest has time to accrue. You're paying interest on your interest. So take whatever you want to pay each month and split it into four payments. This tip will probably save you the most money over the life of the loan because it snowballs. You can even set up auto payments to do this so you don't have to think about it. So like every Friday, a fourth of your bill gets paid, and if a month has five Fridays, you can make an extra payment, which is tip number three. If your minimum payment is $227, pay $230. You're not going to miss that extra $3. But it will add up over time. When you get money outside of your budgeted income, like a tax return or birthday money or a big tip or any kind of unexpected money. Put that extra money towards your loan. I know if you're living paycheck to paycheck, this probably won't seem possible. You probably rely on that unexpected money to get your car fixed or go to that doctor's appointment you've been putting off or buy a winter coat or whatever. I've been there. So set aside a change jar around each payment up to the next dollar. Every penny helps because you won't be paying interest on that penny. Paying an extra dollar a month one dollar will save you an extra thirty dollars in interest. You can't even buy an avocado with a dollar. Maybe that's because I live in Ohio. Tip number four, if your minimum payment goes down, ignore that. Keep paying the original minimum. My original minimum payment for one of my loans was $120. Now I'm paying $107. Do I really need that $13 a month? No. I probably just use it to go out to eat one extra time. I should really stop that. Tip five, as you pay your loans off, roll that payment onto another loan. I know that sounds like no fun, the whole point of paying bills off is so you can have more money, but this will save you in the long run. For example, I'm currently paying $27 a week on a loan so that I can get it paid off quickly, and once that is paid off, that $27 is already taken out of my budget, so I might as well just move it on to a different loan and get that one paid off even quicker. Tip six, Make a plan. Don't just make the minimum payments and expect it to take care of itself. Look at your budget and see where you're overspending. Are you drinking three coffees a day? Stop that. Buying a six pack every weekend? Make it every other weekend and have your liver write me a thank you card. Cutting out luxury items to put more money on your loan will save you money in the long run because interest. Make a plan for which order you want to pay off your loans. They will tell you to start with the ones that have the highest interest rate and pay those off first because it will save you more money in the long run. But you don't have to do that. If you need that feeling of accomplishment to keep going, then you can always start by paying off your smallest loans first and go from there. Tip seven, if you pay more than $600 in interest on your federal student loans or you're married, you can write that off your taxes. You just need to get your 1098E form from whoever your lender is and file that with your taxes. Then you can take what you get in your return and put it back on your loans. Now you might be thinking, wait, I can't even make the minimum payments. You have two options there, income-based repayment or deferment. Sometimes, especially with federal student loans, you can defer your payments after you graduate until you do get a job. Or you can do income-based repayment, which will allow you to pay less than your minimum payments based on how much you make. Just make sure you contact them before the bill is due because it usually takes about a month to process anything like that and make payments when you can. Don't let it pile up even if it's stressful. They want to help you pay the loan back. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Maybe I'll do another video about this. And if you found any information in this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share the video with someone because mama needs that ad revenue to pay her own student loans. Okay, bye!